Ray Carlino. Do you have a really awesome main cabinet with a rollerball controller that you can't get to work? Well, I'm about to show you how to make it work. When I first started building this cabinet and I was configuring everything, all the parts worked except for the shutdown button. And the shutdown button just wasn't working with the old software. So I had to update the software in order to get the shutdown button to work. And I thought that all was good until I put everything together and then the roller ball was not working anymore. I have spent the last year on and off digging through forums and looking up information to try to get that trackball to work. So, I have finally figured out what's wrong. The older versions of the software just worked the way that they were supposed to, and then at some point somebody updated something so that it wouldn't work. I know, first world problems. But nonetheless, it's really frustrating. So I'm going to show you the steps that I went through that got my trackball to work. I've got a centipede ROM here because, of course, I own an old centipede cabinet which gives me the rights to have that ROM. Just like everybody else, right? Okay, so I've now got the thing and player one. Oh no, the controller's not working. It's defaulting to joystick, and everybody knows that joystick on Centipede sucks. So I'm gonna show you what I did to get my trackball working. Now, the first thing that you need to know is you have to have hotkeys enabled on your controllers. And I'm assuming that most people who have some kind of a main cabinet or main device already know about that, but if you don't, put a comment in this video telling me that you want me to talk about that in a future video, and I'll do it, because that's the way I am. My buttons are set up so that I've got A, B, X, and Y, just like on like a Super Nintendo controller. This is my select button here, and so what you need to do is you open up the ROM that you're gonna play, and then you press select and X. That brings up this RetroArch configuration menu. And so from here, you're actually gonna need to go back. I know that that doesn't make any sense at all, but it starts out in this quick menu. So you hit your back button, which is B. That takes you to the main menu. Then you're gonna go down to settings and you hit your A button to select. Now, in order for settings to take place, the only way that I know to do this is to go into configuration, hit A again, and set save configuration on exit, and set that to on. Normally it's on off, I have it set to on. Now, here's the thing. I have been on a lot of forums where everybody says, don't do this because they say it causes problems. I don't know how else to save from RetroArch configurations. If you are a main person and you know a better way to save, then please let me know and let my other viewers know because this is the only way that I know how to do it. So, sorry, I'm doing it this way. Set the save configuration on exit to on, and then we hit the B button to go back, and then we go to input. Hit A to go in there. So, I have my max number of users set to two. That's because I have two joysticks set up, so I'm really only gonna have two people playing at any given time. And then I'm gonna go down here, and you see input user one binds and input user two binds. If I had this set to six, there would be like six different sets of user binds here. If I only have two, so I only have two. So user one binds. I hit A to go in here, and I'm gonna go down to user one mouse index. 
This is the thing. I've discovered that on mine, I need to have this set to two. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through and you're gonna try out different numbers to see what works on yours. But on mine and a lot of the people online, they said that index two seems to work. So then I back out of this, I go down to uh, input user number two, because I only have one trackball. So I'm going to set this index also to two and then back out. So what this is doing is it's telling the machine which controller to use for which player. Now I only have one trackball, so I'm setting both players to use the same trackball. Now we back out by pressing the B button. And again, I can check my configuration here. It's still set to save configuration on exit on. That's good. We back out all the way. So we go down to quit retroarch and we hit the A button and it's gonna reset the ROM. And now when I select that ROM, here we go, this is suspense. Are you ready? I am now playing with a trackball and sucking with the trackball. But nonetheless, it works. After a year, it finally works. So there you go. If you have experienced the same problem that I have, where for some reason you updated and now your trackball doesn't work, that could very well be why. This is Clay Carlino telling you to be brave.